Hello and welcome to another build overview video. So this video is basically a build overview of the Optera 1.2 meter flying wing using a DJI digital FPV system. So I've picked up this plane a couple of days ago and I decided to build it using my DJI system. As you can see, uh, it comes with basically uh, a foldable prop which is quite convenient for a wing so that you won't have to break the prop when you land if, if you land with the prop uh, vertical or basically rip out the motor mount so this is quite good that it has a foldable prop and the good thing also about it is that it has interchangeable cones nose cones so you can basically mount cameras in the front for your FPV setups and I wanted also to show you the wings I obviously removed the wings for the purpose of this review and I'm just showing you one of the wings it's very nice it's basically a wing tip over here uh, very good build quality I really like this uh, this FPV wing so let's go ahead and start I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to here so that you can see the flight controller so I've built it using a Matec F722 wing flight controller and I decided to mount it in the back just behind the spar and the reason is you will need the area in the front let me zoom out a little bit you will need this area in the front to basically put the battery and you need this much of area because you need to be able to move the battery back and forth to hit the CG right it's really critical with wings that you hit the CG you don't want to have like uh, an, uh, a tail heavy wing it's gonna be really uh, hard to fly it's gonna it's gonna even fly really bad with a flight controller uh, a perfect CG or even a little bit nose heavy wing is good it's gonna fly well and the flight controller will manage that in a very good way so again we mount the flight controller in the back and then to be able to do that you will have basically to trim a little bit of of the foam as I've done here uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can see that I trimmed a little bit of the foam here there was like a protruding foam piece here I removed it so I created a very nice and good space for the flight controller uh, to be in now to be able to do that and mount the flight controller in the back aside from the trimming of the foam you will have basically to move the ESC to the front and that's very simple because the stock ESC comes with a long cable so you can just pull it a little bit to the front however you will need to basically take a little bit of the foam so that the ESC goes down and sits flush uh, with the foam uh, so that you can basically mount or put the battery on top um, I've also mounted uh, a GPS with a compass unit here let me zoom in a little bit so this is basically where I've put a compass and a GPS unit which sits nicely uh, on the side I've also mounted my R9MM receiver here on the side using double sided uh, tape and I'm still yet to mount the antenna properly what I've done for my first couple of flights is I've basically just put it on the wing and I used some tape and that did the job of course the reception wasn't great because this antenna needs to be mounted vertically like this so I'm gonna do that uh, so this basically takes you through what I've done in this area now how would you go about mounting the air unit and let me basically just show you the air unit here so the Optera comes with a very very convenient seat in the front I'm gonna turn it to the side so that you can see the seat I guess this seat was designed to basically take a, an action camera but in this case it perfectly matches the size of the air unit so using double-sided tape you can mount the air unit in the front let me zoom out a little bit so you mount the air unit in the front and then you have the DJI camera which is connected to the air unit what I've done is that I've dug a little 
trench here so that you know the cable coming out of the air unit can go into this trench and uh, the camera can basically fit in the front without any protrusion so even even the basically the this action camera piece this piece of foam that houses the action the, the FPV camera it it fits the DJI camera really well you just in my case I just put two pieces of balsa wood uh, in the top and uh, at the bottom so that it would fit uh, the space perfectly and then after you do that you just simply tuck the cable in you tuck the cable in and then you basically um, just click this in and it goes inside really nice and neat in terms of cable routing uh, all the cables are routed in the back let me zoom in a little bit so the cables coming from the wing servos they mount you can take them from the back uh, the ESC can you can even route the ESC cable uh, underneath the flight controller and then mount it and, or connect it from the back uh, the GPS cable is routed on the side here so it's a neat cable basically layout uh, the only cable that you have to lay all the way from the front to the back is basically uh, the air unit cable so as you can see here let me just position it this is the air unit cable there's a hole even in the uh, in the front where you can basically use it to connect the cable to the air unit then you route the cable all the way uh, on the side all the way to the back this is the only cable that you basically have to route back to the flight controller uh, I've flown this a couple of times it flies really really nice uh, and this is I mean uh, this is because it has a wide wingspan uh, it's around 1.2 meters uh, wingspan uh, flies really nice you have I mean this flight controller will react to each and every gust of wind so unless you tune your your PIFF correctly it's gonna be very jittery in flight um, but I mean I'm planning another video I'll explain to you exactly what I've done in terms of tuning the INAV PIFF controller so that this flies smoothly without any jitter. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If I've missed anything, if you have any questions, uh, anything you want to talk about, uh, just basically leave a question or leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer that. Uh, please do click on like and subscribe. That would help a lot. Uh, and thank you again for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.